My name is Kelly, and I'm from Springfield, Missouri. I'm very close with my family. Uh, we like to spend a lot of time together. I'm especially close to my sister. Um, she's very supportive, and she's somebody I can always count on. I remember my first migraine. Um, I was in my early 20s. Um, I wasn't sure exactly what was going on. I had a terrible sharp pain right over my left eye, um, very sensitive to light. I didn't know why I only wanted to be in a dark room. That was my first migraine. After that, my migraines and headaches started to happen more frequently and more often, and they really came back with a vengeance. I even had to stay home from work sometimes because the symptoms were more than I could take. It was at that point that my doctor put me in contact with a specialist. This was the first time I've had somebody explain to me exactly what had been going on, not just at this time, but over the last 10 years. I would have a migraine and then a period of time where I wouldn't have headaches or migraines, and then I would kind of keep repeating that. Um, and that is what they call it, episodic migraine. Now that they were um, basically so close together that I was having them nearly um, a daily basis or 15 or more a month, now I actually have chronic migraine. After my diagnosis with chronic migraine, my headache specialist recommended a different type of medication to try, which was Botox. He told me it was the only medicine specifically approved to reduce the number of headache days. Once my headache specialist recommended Botox, I wanted to go ahead and do some research and check it out to make sure it was okay for me. So I took home the brochure that my doctor gave me and looked up more information about it. After I did my research, I met back up with my doctor. We went over the risks and the benefits again, and we decided that it was the right option for me. I was a little bit concerned about how I was going to pay for it. I wasn't sure if insurance was going to cover it and how much. Happily, my insurance covers a good portion of the cost of treatments. Look, I lost out on a lot of activities in the past because of my chronic migraine. Uh, one that I'll never forget is that my sister ran in a marathon race, and while my entire family was there cheering her on, I was home in bed, uh, curled up with the lights out, not able to go. It was really hard for me to know that I had missed something that was so important to her. These days, I'm making fewer marks in my headache diary, and there's some days where I don't even make a mark at all. And that's so exciting to me because I didn't think that there was going to be a time where I was ever going to have that. My advice for people with chronic migraine, ask your doctor about Botox treatments.